a brand new Airbus A320 which was delivered just before 50 days crashed onto a golf course killing 92 of 146 people while approaching to Bangalore on Valentine's Day of 1919. The investigators found the pilot error as the cause of crash. But experts blamed its new fly-by-wire technology, where there was 0.5 seconds time lag for the command to the aircraft's thrust control to act. February the 14, 1990. Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport, Bombay, India. Indian Airlines Airbus A320 aircraft was operating a scheduled passenger flight from Bombay to Bangalore. On board the flight were 139 passengers and 7 crew members, consisting of 2 pilots and 5 cabin crew. On the left seat was Captain Cyril Fernandez, who was 46 years old with 9307 hours of flying experience. And Fernandez was under supervision as he was undergoing the first of 10 route checks required for qualification to become captain. On the right seat was Captain Satish Gokuchkar who was 44 years old with 10,340 hours of flying experience and he was in command for this flight. Flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Flight 605 took off from Bombay Airport after an hour delay. Before this flight, the aircraft was used for two other flights on this day, operating as Flight 669 flying from Bombay to Goa and Flight 670 from Goa to Bombay. The flight started approaching Bangalore Airport. The crew disengaged autopilot because the runway was in their sight and the crew started flying aircraft manually with the left and right flight directors remained engaged. At this time, the aircraft was at an altitude of 5000 feet and which was 600 feet higher than the normal glide path. When the captain Fernandez noticed that the aircraft is above the glide path, he requested for a go around. His plan was to climb to 6,000 feet, do another circle and come back better aligned to the normal glide path and land. But the Czech pilot, Captain Gopuskar, then responded to his request. Captain Fernandez chose to proceed with the vertical speed option. Because the aircraft was higher than the normal glide path, Captain Fernandez asked for a higher descent rate of 1000 feet per minute. The normal rate of descent is 700 feet per minute. If the descent slope is increased, it automatically increases the descent speed as you can see in this picture. but it helped the aircraft regain the normal glide path. Captain Gopuskar then checked the landing checklist.
When the aircraft was on its glide path, he selected the descent rate as 700 feet per minute. But instead of choosing the vertical speed knob, he accidentally chose the altitude knob. So instead of commanding for 700 feet rate of descent, he commanded the aircraft to descend to the altitude of 700 feet. And the airport itself is located at the height of 2,912 feet from the sea level. Request our flight attendants be seated at this time. We're landing in about one minute. Thank you. Captain Fernandez turned off his flight director, but Captain Gopuskar did not turn off it yet. The plane continued to hurtle downwards. Minimum 100 above, 100, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, retard. But it was too late. The aircraft initially touched the ground within the boundaries of the Karnataka Golf Club. It rolled on the ground for about 80 feet. And went up into the air again. And remained in the air for about 230 feet. Then it came down to the ground and crashed. The investigation was done by Ministry of Civil Aviation India. According to the investigators, the pilots failed to realize the gravity of the situation and did not respond immediately towards proper action of the moving throttles, even the radio altitude callouts. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, retard. The Indian Commercial Pilot Association stated that the senior captain of the flight, Captain Gopuskar, would not have made the series of mistakes and they believed that the engines went into idle power because of a major system defect. Even when the Gopuskar tried to shut his director off, it did not respond. Before the crash of Flight 605, an Airbus A320 had been involved in another crash, which was Air France Flight 296. Official investigations determined the cause of crash was pilot error. However, the pilot blamed the plane's fly-by-wire system for the crash, which caused a major controversy about the Airbus A320. What do you think about the report and controversy? Share it in the comment section. If you are watching until now, then please support us by liking the video and by subscribing the channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.